The leader of one of Australia's most powerful outlaw motorcycle gangs, and his lawyer, have been arrested by anti-bikey detectives for an unusual reason. Comanchero boss Mick Murray has been arrested in a tax fraud operation by anti-bikey detectives. The operation, which centers on allegations of asset concealment, has also ensnared Murray's lawyer, John Voigt. The pair was among four people arrested by detectives from the organized crime ECHO task force. Murray, 43, of Listerfield, was arrested on Thursday and has been charged with conspiring to dishonestly cause a loss to the Commonwealth and told to front court on November 30th. Voigten, 64, of Q, faces the same charge after being arrested on Friday and will appear in court next Tuesday. Also charged were a 58-year-old Mount Martha man, who was detained in Queensland, and a 45-year-old woman from Cranbourne North. They also face a count of conspiring to dishonestly cause a loss to the Commonwealth. The man arrested in Queensland by National Anti-Gang Squad members was Graham Ritchie, a businessman friend of Murray. In 2019, Mr. Ritchie put up a $1 million court surety so his mate could travel to Thailand for a holiday while on bail. These arrests form part of an ongoing investigation into business enterprises and services linked to the Comanchero OMCG. A wave of raids and arrests in Melbourne in 2018 were related to the same operation. Police will allege that between 2014 and 2018, the four people charged hit assets to avoid a tax debt. Detectives from the ECHO task force raided Voiden's former business in March 2018 as part of a major investigation into the laundering and concealment of criminal proceeds on behalf of the Comancheros. A Supreme Court writ, filed by GP Building Holdings claims Voiden agreed to acquire eight mortgages in June 2016 that would deliver a return of up to 13% within nine months. Voiden is accused of transferring laundered cash from trust accounts without authority. It has been a challenging few years for Voiden. He was shot in the driveway of his Q home last year and his Bellerin Peninsula property was burnt in a 2019 arson attack. Anti-bikey police have been called in after a lawyer was hit in a drive-by shooting at Kew. Cameron Bowe is there tonight and Cameron, this isn't the first time the victim has had trouble. Mitch John Voughton's had an uncanny knack of finding himself in trouble over recent years. A property of his was severely damaged. Other properties have been raided by police. In October last year, his car was torched in his driveway, but last night it stepped up a notch. At around 6.30, John Voughton was shot twice in the legs while on the driveway of his family home here in Kew. The 63-year-old was taken to hospital and he remains in a stable condition tonight. The anti Bikey, Bikey Echo Task Force is in charge of this investigation. They're still in the process of door knocking for possible witnesses and security camera vision. They're yet to make any arrests or recover any weapons, but we do know that the shooter is a male and we do know that he is a risk taker, given that he was prepared to enter a dead end street, risk the possibility of being trapped in order to target his victim.